big victory for them on the road, of course, as we beat Stoke City at the Bet365 3-0. I'm not stuttering. I'm not stammering. It is, of course, confirmed. Final whistle has gone at, uh, uh, at the Bet365 and Rovers taking up all three points in a game that could have, you know... Uh, when you want, if you play it back, the game back itself, a lot of possession. In fact, a crazy amount of possession for Stoke, 66% possession. Uh, but Rovers making their chances count, of course. Yes, Stoke rocking 12 shots uh, on the day, just one of them on target. So credit where credit's due, and that is, of course, the Rovers' back line. Uh, and when I say the back line, I'm talking about a makeshift back, makeshift back line because it is, uh, you know, the walking wounded for Rovers. Uh, despite taking an early lead through one of those walking wounded, Scotty Wharton, bullet header, uh, giving Rovers the lead on the fourth minute. That's right. Good description. I mean, fantastic start. Um, but only a minute later, he was off. That's right. And on comes Captain Fantastic, Lewis Travis, as substitute to patch up that makeshift defence. And again, I would say it was a tactical masterclass from the man, the myth, the legend, JDT, as he finally gets one over Stoke. And he finally gets a, a, a big result for Rovers over Alex Neal, a boogeyman, a bogeyman, or whatever you want to call it, in Rovers' eyes over the last, I don't know, decade or so. Uh, we've, we've managed up against him a whopping nine times and only come out of the, the, the victorious just the one time prior to today. So good result for Rovers as we, as we get the, the big fat three points. But again, you know, the, the, the possession, the possession of, of the game, of course, has favoured Stoke overwhelmingly so. But we could have probably should have been 3-0 up at halftime. Sammy Smolich had a couple of chances to really uh, uh, put this game to bed within the first 45 minutes uh, as, as a couple of breakaway opportunities. Lovely work, lovely through balls, lovely passing by Rovers midfield. Uh, but unfortunately, he left his shooting boots off for the first half anyway, and he couldn't put those two, two or three chances in the back of the bins there. Stoke again tried to press, and again, when you looked at their bench, I was worried. I thought um, I thought there was a, a, a goal scorers galore on the bench, um, but that was the problem for Stoke. It's been their problem for the past three games now, of course, three games without a goal, and of course, let's, let's flip that back around in our favour. Before today, five games without conceding a goal for Stoke. So Rovers, credit where credit's due. We go to their place, go to their turf. An intimidating place to go is, is the Bet365 Stadium. I remember in their Premier League days, nobody liked going to Stoke because they were an intimidating fan base. But today, it was lambs to the slaughter. And that was the Stoke faithful there. Saw a real team come out on top. That's the blue and white halves. But wearing all black today, of course, uh, that's Blackburn Rovers coming out on top. Fantastic result. This is a good result. I, 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 did, I came in into this with some hesitation, some nerves, some anticipation maybe, of course. I don't even know if that's a word, but I came into this thinking a 1-1 draw would be all right for Rovers. But guess what? An early lead, four minutes on the clock. Yeah, my, maybe, maybe my, my uh, gut started to swing the other way. But uh, it wasn't, it was still an early game into the 85th minute. We were still just the 1-0 up. It could have, could have easily swung back in Stokes' favour. They made the aggressive substitutions. They looked like they were going to go for equaliser, but a uh, great, fantastic switch by Rovers. And of course, JDT Garrett coming on his shot uh, parried by the keeper Bonham between the sticks like I said four games five games previous clean sheets uh, for Stoke he parried at it upstep Andrew Wharton who's had a fantastic week for himself on professional level getting capped by Ireland of course early in the week rewarding himself with a goal this uh, today rebound taps at home 2-0 game over uh, of course, but we wanted to put a little bit of a cherry on top. That's right, Sammy Smolich, who worked so hard, whirled the captain's armband for a good four or five minutes before getting uh, uh, having to give it over to true captain, uh, Lewis Travis. But he got himself his 11th goal of the season. Uh, of course, he is the sweetheart uh, at the moment for Rovers. We need one. We need a face of the place, and it is Sammy Smolich. Uh, so uh, he got the third there. Great breakaway opportunity down the right-hand side. Pretty much what he's he's um, he had earlier in the game. Great one-on-one -on -one opportunities uh, throughout the game, but this time he finally converted. It was, uh, you know, debatable that it might be argued as an own goal, but I think Smodic, all the hard work was him. It, uh, it just ricocheted off a defender at the last second. So uh, the goal, the dubious goals panel might want to uh, take a look at that one, but for me, it is a Smodic girl uh, all day long. Meanwhile, that win puts us up into 10th spot, and of course, say it quietly, say it softly, say it sneakily. We are three points away from fifth spot. That's right. As Preston took a, took a shock defeat, uh, of course, against Cardiff. Uh, so, uh, yeah, great week for Rovers. Or great response from Rovers as our last match was against Preston was a loss as well. And, of course, a big week up ahead as we take on Wayne Rooney FC uh, on Wednesday, of course. Who got their first win uh, on, the, on the back 
uh, today. So hopefully that hoodoo is now gone. Anyway, make sure you smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash your little bell. Big result this one. Confidence booster. Just one corner for Rovers today, but uh, we didn't need it in the end. Uh, well done. Resolute defending, patchy defending. Um, but of course, we go again Wednesday. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, and of course, a little bell, all that kind of jazz. I'll see you soon for the next.